everyone. I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm really excited to have you here with me today to share six beauty tips for summer. And you know, every year at about this time, around the 1st of May, I start thinking, oh my gosh, summer is coming. That swimsuits, that shorts, that short sleeve shirts, or sleeveless shirts, as this is. And actually, this is the first time this season, which it is just almost May here, that I've gone sleeveless today. We had an 80 degree day today in Kansas, which was just great. But it did remind me that it's time to start doing my beauty tips for the summer. And I thought what a great video to share the information with you. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things anti-aging for us 50 plus beauties, then I hope you'll subscribe. And when you click that little bell, that just sends you email notifications of my future videos. Okay, let's get down to this. Step one or tip one, beauty tip one, and that is to wear your sun protection. And I have to say, my skin is pretty darn good, I have to admit, for 63 years old. And the number one reason for that, in addition to a little bit of tretinoin, of course, is sunblock. Consistent use of sunblock every single day. And this portion of my video is sponsored by SkinStore.com in honor of May, which is National Skin Cancer Awareness Week. And this is something that is so near and dear to my heart, and that is wearing sunblock to make sure your skin is protected. Because I have done that every single day since I was 35 years old. And SkinStore.com is a fabulous place to buy your sunblock. Because unless you just go to the grocery store and get some chemical sunblocks, if you want good quality physical sunscreen, which contains either zinc oxide or titanium dioxide, and those are the two best sunscreens that you can use. Actually, they're complete physical sun blocks. They really protect your skin from the harmful aging rays of the sun and those rays that cause skin cancer for sure. And the neat thing about SkinStore.com, and this is the look at their sunscreen area, is that they have regular sales and they're fantastic sales and they have high-end lotions, body lotions, skincare items that usually don't go on sale anywhere else and SkinStore.com usually has a 20% off sale, a 25% off sale, and I'll link SkinStore.com below the video. And when I say they sponsored this portion of the video, it doesn't mean that they paid me. They certainly did not but they allowed me to order several products from their website and except for one of the products, I ordered the sunblocks that I use and love already and I can highly recommend them to you. The first is the LTMD UV Clear Broad Spectrum SPF 46 Sunblock. This is what I have been using for the last year and I absolutely love this. And then I ordered from Skin Store the tinted version of this and it just has the barest little bit of tint but I really do like it. It seems exactly as good as this, and this is a 40, and this is a 46, but these are absolutely fabulous sunblocks, and they both contain hyaluronic acid, which is a humectant, which brings the moisture onto your skin, which is wonderful. And so if you're looking for a great sunscreen, I would recommend these very highly. Now, here's another one that I did not have before, and I ordered this from Skin Store, and I truly love this one. This is called Epionce, or Epionce, I'm not sure which, and it's the Daily Shield Tinted SPF 50 sunscreen. And again, it's a physical sunblock and it contains zinc dioxide. Yes, it does. And here is how it looks. It just goes on like this. And I would say that between this one and the LTMD, and I'll show you the tinted version of the LTMD. Hold on just a minute, let me get that. I'll show you both of these so you can see how they compare. Here is the LTMD. Let me get a little closer here. So this is the LTMD and it's a little lighter looking and this is the Epionce sunscreen which is a little bit darker and I put them both on my face for the last few mornings because I was very familiar with the LTMD but the Epionce was something that was new to me and I'll show you a little video of how they looked on my skin this morning. Okay, I have both sunblocks on my face. The Epionce is on this side and I think it almost gives you a foundation look. If you like your skin a little bit darker and even toned and you like the idea of not wearing foundation, I think this would be a really good one for you. And I will say both sides are a little bit, they're a little bit shiny right now because I just put both sunblocks on. And this is the LTMD and I don't think it has a foundation look to it, even though it is tinted. It is the foundation that I've been wearing for a long, long time in the untinted version. 
I don't see much difference, quite honestly, between the untinted version I used to wear and this new tinted version. However, I think it's nice, and I think going forward I would use this. But it just depends on what look you want, I think. Also, this one has a little bit more of an oilier feel, just a little bit, and it will dry down though because I've used it for several days. I still have them on my skin today because it's about one o'clock in the afternoon. This is the Epionce and this is the Ulta MD, and you really can't tell the difference. But I would say if you wanted a tinted sunblock that looks a little like a foundation, I would go with the Epionce. And then if you want one that blends in with your skin tone a little better, maybe go with the Ulta MD. And also, if you're a little drier skin person, I would definitely go with the Epionce because it is a little bit oilier than the LTMD, but they're both wonderful. Now, the next sunblock that I ordered from Skin Store is, again, a sunblock that I've used for several years. I absolutely love this, and I will say that it's equal to the LTMD, in my opinion, but if you want a little higher SPF, this one is a 50, which is good, and this is the Color Science Sun Forgettable Total Protection Face Shield. That's a mouthful, and it has zinc oxide, so it is a physical sunscreen, and what that means is it plays very, very well if you're using retinoid or retinol on your skin, tretinoin, something like that. If you use a chemical sunscreen and then apply your makeup, everything tends to peel off, but with a physical sunscreen, you don't get that problem at all. Let me show you the Color Science one, and again, it is just fabulous. You do have to shake it up, otherwise the color is at the bottom. But see, it is just a little light colored cream. It blends in beautifully, and really, I think this is a wonderful one too. And I wish I could give you my favorite of the three, but really they're all about equal in my estimation, and they're all great physical sunscreens. Now this last sunscreen I've only used for about the past week and a half, and I really do enjoy it. This is for those days when you don't want to apply a separate sunscreen over your moisturizer. This is the Pericone MD High Potency Classics Face Finishing and Firming Tinted Moisturizer. So it has your moisturizer and your SPF right in there, and it offers a broad spectrum sunblock plus a lot of antioxidants in there, so a lot of good things for your skin. And I did not find that this was super greasy at all, but it has a little bit of a tint, not enough to probably replace your foundation, but it still is a nice little bit of coverage that kind of nulls out the red in your skin a little bit. I don't know if you can see that, but it just kind of blends nicely into your skin. And I really do like this one, especially if you really want to combine your moisturizer and sunscreen all in one. Now, summer beauty tip number two is to exfoliate. And that is so important because look, I'm really exposed here now and my arms look better than they usually would have because all through the winter this year, I use two different exfoliating lotions and I'll show them to you now. And I think it takes about 30 days of using these. So I would start them now because you've got about that amount of time before you're into the overexposed summer weather when all of our skin shows. Here are the two body creams that I use and I use them after showering in the morning or at night. Basically, the first one is Alpha Skin Care Renewal Body Lotion. It's a 12% glycolic acid, and I put this on after the shower on my arms and my legs and my tummy, and this is a wonderful little exfoliating body lotion. I think Angie of Hot and Flashy tested this, and she said this was the best one out there, and I had actually been using this for several years before I heard Angie liked it too, so I was really pleased that it got the Angie seal of approval, but this is absolutely wonderful. Now, the Alpha Hydrox is a great exfoliator, but it's kind of your daily workhorse kind of a product. Now, if you want to go in with the big guns, though, if you look at your arms right now and say, oh my gosh, they look scaly and horrible and dry, then you might want to consider investing in this Glytone. And this is the Glytone Exfoliating Body Lotion, and it's a 17.5% glycolic acid, and it is intense. And I will say I use this one at night, and I don't use it every single night, because if you start using this after about the second or third night, especially on your arms, I've noticed that you'll start to get red and you just really need to back off. So I use this probably about every other night because sometimes just like a retinoid or something like that, it will actually exfoliate the skin to where you know some of the skin comes off. It is really, really a powerful exfoliator and SkinStore.com has this in a wonderful gift set with the Glytone Exfoliating Body Lotion in this size and also an exfoliating body wash. And I've linked that below because I think that would be an absolutely wonderful product to get your skin ready for summer.
Now my third get ready for summer beauty tip is to get a great self tanner. And I have tried other self tanners, but I always come back to the Jergens Natural Glow, and I've used this for the past couple of years. And unlike other tanners that smell horrible, this one hardly has any smell at all. Plus it doesn't tend to wear off on your sheets or your clothing, anything like that. And I have never had a case where it's streaked because basically you use this just like a body lotion and I get it in the color medium to tan for medium to tan skin tones. And I'm definitely kind of a medium girl. So this one works really well for me, but it's just a nice little body lotion. I'll put a little bit on my finger here and it comes out clear. And then you just rub it all over your arms and legs. And then you just go ahead and make sure that you have washed your palms off but it really doesn't tend to transfer and I really haven't noticed my palms getting particularly brown like ever with this, but this is something that you have to start using maybe three or four days before you want a little golden glow. And I have to say, I didn't get this started early enough. I've been using it only about the last two days, but I've already gotten a nice little glow from it and it gets darker and darker and then stops on about your third or fourth day. And I will say this is another Jergens product that I really like and I've used this in the past. I didn't use it this time, but this is the Jergens Natural Glow Wet Skin Moisturizer. And basically what you do is you shower off in the morning or in the evening, you get yourself a little bit patted dry and then you just smooth this all over your body on kind of damp skin and you let it dry and you go about your business. These Jergens products are super easy to use. They don't streak and they make a beautiful, very natural looking tan. Now, summer beauty tip number four is to tone up your arms. And this takes a little bit more effort and you do have to think ahead. And I have to say, I'm really happy this year because as many of you know who follow my channel, I've been consistently doing weightlifting or weight training for about the past year and a half. So this year I didn't have to get to about February and go, oh my God, my arms are saggy and baggy and horrible and realize that I had to start doing some arm exercises at the last moment to kind of get in shape to be on YouTube videos in the summer. This summer, since I was working out consistently all year long, I really didn't have to do anything extra to get my arms in shape. However, I do have a wonderful arm toning video on my channel that is a 10 minute arm workout and you do it with light weights. It takes 10 minutes a day and it takes about 30 days to start seeing results. So I'll link that video below because I use the same exercises that I show you in that video. In fact, when I do my weight training, I do it Monday through Friday morning and I do my arms Tuesday and Thursday. And I just do that same little 10 minute video that I'll be showing you. Now there's one other kind of weird arm tip in terms of getting your arms in shape. And you may not have this problem, but it's a problem I have had, and that is fat underarms. And you can't see them too badly now because I've already used this tip in the past, but I have a video on my channel about how I got rid of my underarm fat. And I thought maybe some of you also suffered from kind of chubby underarms, and it was a weird problem, and I found a solution to it that I'm really kind of proud of. And I did it based on the cool sculpting. And you hear about cool sculpting and they do it in plastic surgeon's office. And I actually called my local plastic surgeon to ask about cool sculpting. And I think they were going to charge me like $2,000 a session and it would take more than one session. And I thought, you know, my fat underarms are not worth that kind of money, especially when they did not guarantee results. But what I did is I created my own DIY cool sculpting at home. And I'll link a video below that shows you exactly how I did it. And it shows you my 30 day results. And I'll try to dig up some pictures here and show you. Here they are. Basically, as you can see, I had really chubby underarms before. And then after 30 days, they were greatly reduced. And what I did, it's really very simple, and please watch that video before doing this, and I can't recommend anything medically for anyone else. You need to talk to your doctor about this. But what I did is that I ordered some little gel packs, some freezing gel packs from Amazon, and I put them in t-shirt sleeves. And basically I just took a long sleeve t-shirt and I cut out the sleeves to where I could put each little ice packet in one of these sleeves because you don't want the ice next to your skin. You don't want to get frostbite, but then you just put them under your arms. Usually I'll do my eye restore hair helmet when I'm using them. But if you do this for 30 days, it will really slim chubby underarms. Now summer beauty tip number five is to groom your fingers and toes. And that's a pretty obvious thing and it's very easy. 
give yourself a manicure and pedicure or go to the salon and get a mani and pedi. And people ask about my nails sometimes and these are just acrylic tips. I used the gel for a while and as you know who use gel, usually it is much stronger than nail polish and it tends to keep your nails underneath very strong. But with me, even with the gels, my nails were breaking on the sides and I could not get the length with the gels that I get with the tips. So I went back to acrylic tips and I really do like them. I just think they're fairly natural looking, but they are long and I really do enjoy that look. But manis and petties are not really my ultimate tip. My ultimate tip is to consistently keep your feet sandal ready to use a foot rasp. And this is a wonderful little thing and it's about $10 on Amazon. I will link it below. But what I do is I keep it on the back of my potty. And here is a picture of it on the back of my potty because I tended to not use it. But now every time I go into the restroom in the morning after taking a shower, I see the foot rasp and then I just pull up the potty lid and put my foot on the side there. And then I just use the foot rasp all over my heels and my toes and the pads of my feet. And in doing that, I keep my kind of gnarly looking feet pretty for the entire summer. Now, summer beauty tip number six is to defuzz. And I have a video about this on my channel and I absolutely love it. Unfortunately, I tried to turn this on again, but I needed to charge it because I have not had to use this ever since I kind of defuzzed my bikini area. And also I did my upper lip and for the most part that has stayed defuzzed and certainly the bikini area has stayed defuzzed as well. But what you do is that you use this little IPL device and it's called Intense Pulsed Light and I will link my video about this whole process below and I'll show you the before and after results in that video. But what you do is you just charge this up and you put it against the area where you want to remove the hair and then you're just going to press this button and move it along and you can even hold the button down and as long as you keep the button down you can just move it and the pulse light will automatically go on and off which is just wonderful and this device is called the Kinsey and Kinsey recommends that you use it once a week for the first 12 weeks and you do shave the area first before using the unit but I did that for 12 weeks and then for every month thereafter for maintenance you do it once a month and I noticed that I only had to do the maintenance for about four or five months and now that area is pretty much hair free. One thing about it though is that you really should not do this over suntan skin or even on skin on which you've used a self tanner. And that's really not a problem on the bikini area, but if you wanted to do some hair removal on your arms or your legs, maybe this would not be the ultimate time to do this. But I certainly think on the bikini line, the Kinsey is a wonderful way to go. Well, that was a look at my six summer beauty tips that will help all of us look and feel our best for the upcoming summer season. And if you're 50 plus and interested in looking your best all through your second half, then I hope you'll subscribe, like this video, and or share it with a friend. Well, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And today I'm just going to share something that I've been doing with you. And this is the Louise Hay book called Mirror Work, 21 Days to Heal Your Life. And I've actually been doing these exercises, which you do in the mirror, kind of between my weight sets in the morning when I do my weight routine. So I have to take one to three minutes between those weight exercises. So I do my face exercises, I do my new face, and now I've added in the mirror work. And what the mirror work is, is every morning you get up, morning or evening, and you look in a mirror and you say, I love you, I love you, I really, really love you. I love you. I love you, Beth. You're wonderful. You're talented. You're beautiful. I love you, Beth. You just give yourself all kinds of positive affirmations while looking into your own eyes in the mirror. And I know that sounds a little far-fetched and a little weird to do, but it really is increasing my feelings of liking myself. And this book has a 21-day program and it gives you different things to say in the mirror, different kind of affirmations to say in the mirror in the morning. But there's something super powerful about saying these things looking right into your own eyes. And one thing that I think is so true is that it's only after we learn to love and accept ourselves that we can truly love and accept others. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.